Hello and welcome everyone. Let me introduce you Spiky Roxy. Great parodies. They look different, <clears throat> a lot different. Uh, she's short haired, he's long haired, they're both double coat, but they're both great parodies. However, that's not the topic. The reason uh, I wanted to do this video is when you have a well, double coat dog with a dog with a double coat most people's confusion is what do we do when it's super hot outside so like do we shave it uh, the hair because it's so thick is gonna be too hot come on buddy all right, uh -oh, uh -oh. All right. sit all right. all right is it gonna be too hot for him or is it going to be uh, very hard to maintain so that's what I want to answer. First of all, yes, it is a big responsibility. Before we get to that, for those who have not subscribed to the channel, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell icon so the new videos that's coming out, you will be notified. And uh, other thing is, these are purely my opinions from my experience. It's definitely, uh, I'm not a veterinary doctor or anyone to uh, authentically say this is what you should be doing, but um, I'm experienced well enough uh, to at least keep uh, up with my own uh, docs that I have. So uh, I also keep up with pretty much all the conversations uh, with everyone else that I meet and online. So information collected from different places and my experience I realized they actually uh, should not be shaved during summer. Uh, that's for a fact, you should not be shaving any of these uh, dogs with the double coat because the undercoat that they have is what keeps them cool uh, during the hot summer days so you definitely don't want this boy's uh, coat to be shaved so it is not healthy for them it will get sunburned and I have read about uh, stories where people said they have lost their dog because they have shaved it got sunburned and died so I don't want to do that but other thing that we have to do, this guy is a year old, she's uh, 11 months old, she's turning, uh, turning one next month or the month after. Not exactly sure because I did not get an uh, actual birthday for her, but for him, the breeder actually gave that to me. Alright, so he started losing all his puppy hair. I had to use this tool. It is a lifesaver, shed magic. Because I've used all of these, I could never get all his shedding hair, like the loose hair from his body out. But this one was the best tool I've ever used. So make sure you have one of this if you have a dog, uh, especially that has a double coat, long double coat. It can be any dog, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a great fitness, um, even though if it's... Uh, a double coat border collie or gold retriever or a German Shepherd whichever it is make sure you have one of this so when they blow out uh, if you constantly use this you will not have hair everywhere and also you can take the dead hair off so right now for example like if I am like brushing him with this I don't have any hair so this no hair practically like this like a little bit that came from his head because it was really hard to get uh, his head uh, brushed with this but I still did there are still dead uh, hair in, uh, with him on his head portion and for her she is still slightly shedding but he is not but still it's it's very little but if you constantly use the shed magic the dead hair will come off then I always uh, use this comb so you don't want any of this hair to get matted uh, when you're using this you will not get the hair matted if you constantly use these two you can prevent matting however it's still gonna end up with some uh, dead loose hair which this will take care of this is my old buddy that I use with all of my other breed dogs that I had uh, it's a furminator uh, not a huge fan of this uh, per se however uh, with her short hair this works good uh, while I was uh, actually brushing her with this yesterday 
I was able to get some of the loose hair out, but this one works much better. But if you have Forminator, it's uh, it's always good to have. Once this is done picking up hair, and if you still use this, you can still pick up some of the loose hair in it. So I mix and use all of these. Other thing is uh, shower, giving them baths. It's debatable. I'm not here for debates. So, but uh, I think uh, two weeks or alternate weeks, uh, if you would like to give them bath, it should be okay depending on your particular pup's health condition. Uh, make sure you use a very good shampoo uh, to condition their body and make sure you're not too, stressing too much on uh, washing all their uh, bodily uh, oil that is within them so they actually need that but if you keep on brushing it's it's pretty good these guys tend to get dirty a lot uh, so at least every other week or and two or three weeks they actually get uh, washed and <clears throat> I blow dry them and then I keep on brushing them so uh, they actually have the shining coat when I do uh, do all of that so that's basically what I do to keep up with them uh, these are the things that you need to do uh, please keep in mind when you get a puppy please make sure that you look up what are the necessities that you need especially for that particular pup that you are getting different breeds have different requirements if you have a double coat dog the requirements are entirely different from a pug uh, may not be the food uh, and stuff like that that also matters but uh, your necessities like giving bath or uh, brushing frequently those things are different for each breed so make sure you research on that and please don't uh, go ahead and get a puppy and then during summer go and shave it don't do that it is definitely not good for them and if you do that once or twice they can practically lose a lot of hair down the road just want to pass that information uh, to everyone that's why i thought of doing this video uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the video, uh, was informative enough at least for some who had no idea about raising a double coated, uh, long double coat hair dogs. Uh, they are fun, they are good, all dogs are good. I tend to like these. Uh, it is a lot of job compared to the every other breed I have ever had. I've never had a double coat long hair job. So though I, I never had to use any of these other than this formulator. I was never a huge fan of this, but these guys actually enjoy brushing, so that's one thing I like. So if I call, uh, Spiky, Spiky, Roxy, come here, come here, come, good boy, come on, come, come here, come, come. Alright, so, if I'm using this, he will sit down, so I can brush him, and I'm not getting any, I'm not getting any hair. So, uh, if I'm using this still, he will sit so that I can brush him. Even with that, I do not get any hair. I can use this. There's no hair in that either. And brushing with this still don't have any so the the other requirement is when they're puppies still continue to brush them even when they're puppies so they actually get into the habit of getting brushed and staying clean it makes it easier even for a groomer once they are grown up to do their job if you're not doing it make sure you take them to a groomer so they actually do know what to do so that's 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 one thing make sure when you are when you have the puppy, make sure you continuously brush them and give them the habit of being brushed and staying clean. Makes it easier uh, for the groomer too. Alright, go ahead. Thank you everyone. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you and have a good day.